Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising Monte Tarot reading for September 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards guys um, in case you're interested in a private reading with me um, you can check out my website for the list of services and the prices for those services it is written down, down below in the description of this video and as well <coughs> bear in mind that this is um, the summer end and there is a summer end sale running which adds 10 minutes on 10 10 minutes on the 30 on the top of the 30 minute service so with that being said going to the tarot spread here we have a, a seven card tarot spread for the month and uh, the first card in the first position does um, expresses up for you Tauruses, the uh, past circumstances which are going to have an impact upon your month. The second card here will show us the topic for the month or what the month is going to be for you. The third card here represents um, the intentions or, or the look for the future or the things that you can go for should you choose to. So this is a conditional card. You can decide not to go for those for those things in case you know that card is something that it is um, not in your liking. Then uh, the fourth card here will represent the best possible course of action. Um, regarding the topic of the month or regarding the month as the month is the fifth card here shows the attitude the attitude of the people which are involved into your situations the uh, sixth card represents the challenges to be taken and the last card it is the wrap up or the final outcome how all this is going to develop toward what end so let's see what you got here, Taurus. So the past circumstances which are going to impact your month. Now we do have the star card. And as a singular card, without seeing the rest of the, uh, of the cards here, um, we can't say way too much about it. Rather than it is something positive that is going to have a, a positive impact upon your month. Probably uh, when we go along with the rest of the cards, I will come back to the star card to give a little bit more clearance. But that card could regard to either a unconditional support that you are receiving from somebody, mm, unfolding love as well that you have recently started receiving from somebody, or also it could uh, it could kind of like be in regarding to a end of a turmoil marked with a an undertaking or a certain event which allow you to look forward into something you know so that's card point that something happened into your past here which um makes your life and your things in general to start improving and this improvement will continue on uh, further in the month of September as well either into your career or either into your relationship very important when we do have the star card as well is to face whatever activities you have to face for the duration of um, of September with candor instead of um, you know instead of being a little bit slinky and calculative if you know what I mean but let's see what the what the next card says probably we will have more to say about the star card now we do have the eight of wands so the month is going to be somewhat uh, kind of uh, dappled with uh, activities the eight of wands is one of the cards pointing to a, a hyper activity should I say that way but <clears throat> When we do have this card, it is very important that we do possess the creativity to take advantage of the of the opportunities coming in our way. Because uh, these opportunities somewhat could come in a very unstandard circumstances, circumstances we are not used to cope with. Therefore, um, we should, or you, uh, Taurus, should be a little bit more open-minded and creative should they say that way because the eight of wands it's about being capable to capitalize on your creative expression and materialize it into the world so uh, what i'm trying to say here guys is uh, that um going back to the star card maybe you had that crazy idea 
for a quite some time and recently you had the chance uh, given to you by the circumstances to give a go to that particular idea and right now in the month of September it is where you truly find the means necessary in order to push it even further through either regarding relationships or either regarding career so for example in your in relationship wise it could be an idea for you to um, to start living with your partner or just to to reallocate in a certain place and until this very moment was quite impossible or recently you realize that it is quite possible you know um, as probably you had a proposition for a job somewhere else and you say what the heck you know I mean let's go and try it out so it could uh, it couldn't fall into it could manifest itself into such um, similar sense you know uh, but it could manifest in any um, in in varieties of ways I mean the star card is very broad card and it's uh, it's deeper meaning is, is that you do have the support from the universe so to speak and when we do have next to the eight of wands it means that the universe additionally gives you the means necessary to capitalize on the opportunity that the universe gives you so you are kind of quite blessed here uh, in this particular Montauruses and uh, if you ask me um, there is no time for slacking here guys because the Eight of Wands says that the opportunity is coming in your way to stabilize your relationship to make progress into your projects at career or even to expand your social circle um, it depends what you are after here you know they will just fly by and go with the current just go with the flow if not capitalize that's why you have to be very swift of uh, capitalizing on opportunities and taking uh, taking advantage of the uh, temporary means that are coming in your way so uh, the next one uh, this is going to be what you can go for should you choose to and we do have the Emperor card here so this card um, stands for uh, taking on control upon our deeds a little bit of contradictory to the eight of wands here because the eight of wands is a little bit more chaotic car so uh, here in that particular sense uh, this month offers you a, a choice to make either you stay to what you have at this particular moment and you consolidate and solidify your position that will be a the right choice for those who are quite happy, uh, happy excuse me with uh, where they're finding themselves right now in their life those who want change that will also be uh, presented to them I mean an opportunity will be presented to them but they have to abandon somewhat a, a little bit of a stable position so they have to step a little bit outside of their comfort zone here abandoning the place of the Emperor uh, which kind of clings to stability order and um, how can I place it in control as well and uh, try, try out something crazy try out something that works um, seemingly works theoretically but you haven't tried yet to see is it has its practical uh, implementation into your um, into your daily environment and then the next card points the best possible uh, approach to the situation to the eight of wands here this is going to be the tree of pentacles Hi tightly linked to the star card points that you will receive support through your development support through your building of that of that hope that you uh, obtained recently um, just before the um, you have entered into September but you have to ask for that support of development and as well uh, this car also points that it will be very uh, fruitful for your behalf to bring connections friends and cooperation into the matter which the car points that you don't have to follow that agenda uh, on your own and and you may kind of like have that kind of a question okay so I am single you know and uh, I'm trying to be with a specific person here well what do you mean by bringing friends into the matter you know and wanting a cooperation well uh, in that particular case you know you may use a friend of yours to ask that person out you know and just like 
by surprise you appear in a place where these people will be you know these kind of shenanigans that everybody does when they're a little bit of a shy when when they are a little shy you know to kind of ask for what they want etc etc i mean you can use the cooperation and the support that will be given to you from the people around your co-workers and friends in many different in many different ways i mean that's why guys you have to be creative how you're going to use that support or that could be a support you know of of the family of your partner for example into relationship um <clears throat> helping you to establish position in there or it could be from your co-workers helping you building up the case in a certain project which project should skyrocket here with having these cards if you are willing you know to abandon some um code of conducts that has to be followed until this very moment uh, the attitude of the people which are involved in your situation here, we do have the Four of Pentacles, nothing to be worried. Um, these people, however, uh, they will want, how can I place it, they will want some reassurance in case you go for the creative approach toward the month. And that, that will be no problem whatsoever, because for what it seems, because the Four of Pentacles is all about solid trust that you do have. They will know, uh, in case we're talking about career, that a certain milestone of the project was reached recently, and right now, in order to make a progress, something unstandard, something brilliant has to uh, has to be given a go you know it has uh, the the whole society here or the whole company needs to try something that it is very different from what they're doing right now so a major project of uh, progress could be uh could be achieved same goes for one career my point here with the four of pentacles is that as soon as you don't act way too unpredictably for those people when you elaborate a little bit more about what uh, um regarding your um your actions to be taken you know and your thoughts as well uh, it's all about conversations and sharing you know what you plan to do i don't see uh anybody here uh a ho with the hostile intentions or uh with ca how can i place it or with surreptitious um surreptitious intentions toward you and toward your goals uh, i mean the love and the support from the people around you which are involved into your situations is there but that doesn't mean that it, it should not be supported by uh, a common sense and that common sense will come from you know your explanation why do you think something has to happen that way and how do you think that it can be um, it can be achieved and it can be reached then the next card here will represent the challenges that you need to overcome and that card definitely speaks for the past here three of swords because uh, <clears throat> the idea that you may follow or the idea that you may chase either it's a person of uh, interest you know or stabilizing one's marriage or relationship project in job uh, or trying to establish a private business etc etc will be very close into something you have experienced in your past and uh, back then uh, having the tree of sorts here back then it, the, the experience wasn't very pleasant really actually uh, re if we're looking at that card it was quite poignant and uh, that poignant experience you have it may obstruct you you know to take sober decisions here or the most um the most appropriate and accurate decision and the very reason for that is that you may fear of a failure <clears throat> this is what you may have and that is kind of natural you know for example you had a person of interest similar to the one that you do have right now you try to make a connection to try try to make a relationship and that person denied you giving you no chance whatsoever and it's so it's kind of normal that you may be afraid right now to approach straight away you know and to make a move here for establishing a possible relationship and it is very important that you have to um that you you need to overcome those emotions and those feelings and those experiences of poignancy here and despondency because uh <clears throat> this is the challenge for you tauruses to heal that wound from uh, a past failure uh, into a, a similar situation you're finding yourself right now because this time around 
um, uh, the, the circumstances are very different here. What we do have is the support from the people around you and the means that the current of life that the universe gives you to utilize uh, in, in your favor and to capitalize on their results. Something that you did not have back then in the past. And at the end, how you're going to wrap up the, the situation here, this is going to be the Five of Cups. Uh, it doesn't look like that everything is going to go in your way with the Five of Cups, guys. Uh, but this card does not say, um, and uh, how can I place it, um, a failure of, uh, of, of a great magnitude. What the Five of Cups here tells us is that... Um, bit by bit, slowly but steady, you're going to find out what truly works for you and what doesn't. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to like what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So not all of those opportunities here are something that you can capitalize on, alright? But those who you can capitalize on can be developed for a, a long run. And I will tell you why now. Because the Five of Cups is the card pointing that not everything it's meant for you to have. And this is displayed here in these, in these three cups, which were fallen down. They were spilled on the, uh, on the ground, suffusing the sand, etc., etc. But what the person doesn't recognize here is that there are still two upright placed cups that still have that, let's say, liquid in them. So what the card asks you here, and this is a little bit of an advice to us, is to be more focused upon what can be pushed through rather than what, can, what is kind of lost in the process. So it's kind of like uh, following the maxima, worry about the things you can do something about rather than for those that are outside of your control. Because these cups here, or rather the methods or the opportunities which you are incapable to capitalize on, you will recognize them by having no control upon them whatsoever. And uh, I kind of like uh, did not suspect it that we we're going to have that card because uh, there are some cards here like Five of Cups or some cards in the tarot like Five of Cups etc etc which makes Eight of Wands quite unstable and it, it, by its nature Eight of Wands is a very unstable card. Like I told you the opportunities flies by and go with the flow if, if not utilized and capitalized on but we are not almighty and we won't be able to or you won't be able to capitalize on every single one of them because maybe two of them or three of them could happen simultaneously and you, and you can't be on three places at once. So maybe this card may not express here failure but it may express disappointment of or fear that you have made the wrong choice by picking up one opportunity uh, over another. So let's say that um, you may have for example three suitors here and you have to choose which one you know you should go for in dating and as soon as the situation develop you may wonder you know what would have happened if I went with the other one you know so wouldn't be better <laughs> so it's it, the, this is the doubt that you may have for the duration of at the end of September uh, that you maybe could have done a, a better decision here but what is important to be acknowledged is that it could have been worse as well, you know. I mean, that month is like a blessing to you and whatever you're um, able to accomplish for the duration of the month, uh, it's something that you would ordinarily not have at your behalf. So, uh, be grateful, this is what I'm trying to say here, Tauruses. So that being said, this was your monthly tarot reading for September 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, Tauruses. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.